When I was in high school, I went to Joliet Central, and at that time, the junior college was in the same building. So when I first set foot on the, in, on the, community, in the junior college area, this was the fifth year I was in the same building. I've been on uh, bank boards, uh, various bank boards, since the 19, early 1980s. Uh, ultimately, I ended up uh, buying control of uh, two banks. In the mid-80s, I also got involved in the oil business in a small way. And uh, then after establishing relationships with uh, Exxon and some of the other major oil companies, uh, I acquired some additional fields. And from there on, just went, uh, uh, you know, expanded and continued to expand and drill a lot of our own wells. And now we pretty much are throughout the United States, or at least the portion of the United States that actually has oil or natural gas. I think he's, I think he's an example of what people can achieve if they, number one, keep their nose to the grindstone, study, and take some opportunities that come about. Well, I've got about 30 years experience with higher education. I've never worked for an institution, but I've been on the, after I left Joliet Junior College, I went to Illinois State University and I was on their foundation board for quite a few years. I was on the, also on the Illinois State University Board of Trustees for better than 13 years. I'm currently on the Illinois Board of Higher Education. That board is, a, again, a state board. You're appointed by the governor, uh, confirmed by the Illinois Senate, and I'm the longest serving of the current members there. I'm in my 11th year, uh, and we oversee, again, all of the public universities and community colleges in Illinois. He wants Illinois to have a good educational base for the students. He does take a close interest in all of the colleges, and especially in the northern part of Illinois and in the district that he resides in. Uh, of course, I've been very lucky. I, you know, there's no question about that. But I think it really all, it all gets back to education. If I didn't go graduate from ISU, I probably wouldn't have accomplished what I've accomplished. If I didn't go to Joliet Junior College first, I wouldn't have gone to ISU. So I think Joliet Junior College was probably a big part of the reason for uh, the achievements that I've had. I don't think he's lucky at all. I think he is an astute business person who plats every act that he's going to do ahead of time and he knows exactly where he's going and he has, he's well organized and is a good business person.